Hello, this is the RPG Pundit, the final boss at Internet Shitlords. And, uh, well, before I, I start with the topic of the video today, uh, I wanted to comment something that uh, a lot of you who are subscribers, and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, uh, may or may not be on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter and have no intention of being on it, well, there's not much I can do. But I, I personally feel that Elon Musk version of Twitter is is just so much better than it used to be ever. <laughs> you know? And uh, here's the thing, though, that, that it's a matter of time before um, Twitter is going to really get monetization in, in play. And uh, I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but it's probably going to be a Patreon-style sort of subscription service. And, uh, you know, I'm a big, big fan of Twitter. I'm, I'm verified. I'm part of the special elite there now. <laughs> I'm... I'm one of the new oligarchy of Twitter, <laughs> or it should be, I guess, plutocracy. Those few of us who can afford eight dollars a month, you know, the the the, the special elites of society, <laughs> and uh, and what we're uh, what what he's doing there. I mean, Elon eventually wants to change all of Twitter into like um, the X app. I think he was going to call it, which is that it'll have everything, right? It'll do video. It's they've already they're already vastly improving the video. It'll do payment stuff like like Patreon or maybe even Kickstarter. I don't know. It'll it'll be you know so it'll be like YouTube, Twitter. It'll be like um, Patreon. It'll be uh, it'll be everything to all people. You know. <laughs> so uh, maybe it'll eventually be a marketplace. Who knows? Maybe someday people will be able to just directly sell their RPGs on there. Wouldn't that be great? Um, and. Anyways, uh, I don't have monetization there yet because it's not uh, available yet uh, outside of, I think, the U.S. and the U.K. maybe. Um, but as soon as I do, as soon as it, it happens, I'm going to start doing special stuff there, you know, for, for subscribers. I don't know if it'll be special posts, special videos, special audio chat, um, material. We're going to see. It'll probably evolve over time. But uh so if you end up deciding that you're interested in getting more stuff from me, then uh, you may want to you preemptively uh, subscribe to me on on Twitter because I, I realize that I've got a lot more subscribers here than I do on on Twitter. So um, you you should check it out. Do a Twitter search for RPG Pundit, you know, or check out in the description below to this video. There'll be a link to my Twitter account, and uh, you might want to get in on the action early on and not miss anything though so again it might still be a while before i start producing i said but right now i'm doing a, as i as i've always done there lots of exciting entertaining and interesting tweets <laughs> all right so that done this is a video i never really expected to do i'm i'm very surprised at myself because <laughs> i would have bet that i would not do a video about magic the gathering and yet this is technically a video about magic the gathering I, I, some of you might have heard about this already, some of you not, but I just think it's just hilarious. So I had to report it. For those of you who haven't found out the news, uh, Wizards of the Coast has done it yet again. I just don't know, like, what is the class of people? I mean, I'm, I was talking today to a friend of mine who's you know, a big-time investor guy, and, and he doesn't understand it either, really. Like, he says, well, you know, the, these people, the, the CEO of Wizards and the CEO of Hasbro need to be fired. You know, like, how is it that, that they're, you know, that they're, they're making all of these blunders, you know, and, and they have been enormous blunders. They're cell phones. He says, you know, it's not malice. It's, it's sheer stupidity. And I guess it is. And I guess this is what happens when you hire people from Microsoft or something. Because, like, you know, just how dumb do you have to be to... To, to do something that is guaranteed to piss off everyone. So this is the story. There's a YouTuber who does videos about Magic the Gathering. And like, like you know, just like in the D&D world, there are certain YouTubers that are like favored YouTubers of, of Wizards slash Hasbro that get special perks. They, they, are, they get sent books, they get sent products and swag, and they in turn, you know, promote Wizards um, and, and basically shill for them. Um, and this is basically one of those people, uh, but a Magic the Gathering type, um, who had a YouTube channel dedicated to Magic the Gathering. And he was sent a box with a set of Magic cards that were not actually due to be released for like another month. So he was sent this prematurely, by accident, 
by Wizards of the Coast. That's as far as I understand it. That's, that, that is what I'm, I'm, the information I'm operating on. Um, he received those cards, he opened them, and he did a video about them because he got them. <laughs> he had them there. You know, why wouldn't he? You know, this is just normal. And like almost immediately, Wizards of the Coast sent a, a certain number of Pinkerton agents basically hired goons. It's the scene from The Simpsons, right? There's a knock at the door. I was like, who is it? Goons, goons, hired goons, hired goons. <laughs> it's that, it's that scene. The guy opens the door, these hired goons come in and they threaten him or whatever. They're, they're, you know, they're either intimidating or physically threatening, demanding that he return the, the uh, cards immediately, that he delete the video, you know, basically menacing him. Um, so, you know, let me give you some context on just who the Pinkertons are also. I think some of you are likely to know some of this, but especially some international people might not. Um, so the Pinkertons, the, probably the last context in which you've heard of the Pinkertons would be like in the 1910s. You know, like it just seems so like it's, it's, it's Cynthia Williams, like Montgomery Burns, you know, like <laughs> I know Smither, let's hire the Pinkertons, you know, it's, it's just so absurd, I can't believe it, you know. The Pinkertons were one of the first detective agencies in the world, and they were famous, absolutely famous in the 19th century. They, had, they, they, they were the first real professional PI company, I guess you could say. Their slogan was, we always get our man. Um, they were uh, founded sometime not very long after the Civil War. And they became very, very famous for, you know, having top-notch agents, especially when it came to finding fugitives and things like that. I mean, they were, they were bounty hunters in part, you know, in the Wild West we're talking about, right? So these were tough guys. They were very capable guys. Um, they, you know, even back then there were, there were cases where they skirted the law in many different ways and, and they had a mixed reputation, um, but, you know, they were generally, you know, they were part of the legend of the West. You know, that's the first place you might know of the Pinkertons in context if you watch, I don't know, a lot of Westerns or something. Uh, later on in history, <laughs> you know, towards the turn of the 20th century, the Pinkertons became mostly famous as hired thugs that um, would be hired on by, uh, you know, wealthy business owners to physically attack um, union, you know, union workers on strike, right? They were, they were strike busters. So they would go in, they were paid to go in there and, and violently assault people. And there were cases where sometimes people got killed and things like that, you know, and that obviously uh, hurt their reputation quite a bit. So, you know, whatever you might think of unions, you, know, that, you could say, well, yeah, okay. Communist agitators aren't that great either, but, but that's still, you know, the Pinkertons were still basically hired goods. And, and then you never hear of them again for like 110 years until Wizards of the Coast hires the Pinkertons to go to a guy's house and threaten to rough him up if he doesn't give them his, his magic cards, right? Like, my God, what are they thinking? How could you be so stupid as to make that your method? Especially because this is a guy who is like, he's a Magic the Gathering shill. Yeah, okay, so they sent that to him by mistake. He did the video. All that they needed to do was probably call him. You know, all they had to do was say, hey, you know what? Just put down, take down the video. It, this, this was an accident. We weren't, we didn't mean to send this to you. Take down the video now, re, you know, uh, return the stuff or just keep it until, you know, don't do a video until we tell you to, to bring it out. We'll give you extra swag, right? Like they wouldn't have to pay him. They wouldn't have to do anything because these people work for nothing. They, they, they have prostituted themselves to, to Watsi for like t-shirts and convention tickets. Okay. So that, that would have been the easiest thing in the world to do, but no, they decided, well, we could try to call him or we could send hired goons from the turn of the fellow of the last century, you know, and that's what they did. It's just incredible. And I just don't get how they can keep screwing up over and over again in the same way. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's all the same people, right? It's Kyle Brinks and Jeremy Crawford and Cynthia Williams. They're all idiots, right? None of them apparently have the, the least bit of common sense, um, and well, we know Crawford has no talent, so you know, that's, that it's, it's pretty obvious that this is 
that that there is an in complete intellectual and probably ethical bankruptcy in all of Wizards of the Coast. And I wouldn't be surprised if that extends outside of Wizards of the Coast to Hasbro in general. Uh, but there you go. I just had to report this. It's going to be a short video because I just had to tell you guys this story because I just can't stop laughing about it. It's just unbelievable. But here we are. That's that, that's what Wizards has done this week. Which to, to stay tuned next week for the next massive blunder they do because I'm betting it's going to happen. You know, it's just this is just going to be the cavalcade of others. I got to say thank you, Wizards, for making my job easy. That's everything for today. If you like this video, please. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share it everywhere. And uh, if you want to support me, and, and uh, you know, besides joining Twitter and, and, and friending me there, following me there, um, check out my products like you know, Sword and Caravan, Social Encounters, um, which says Social Encounters along the Silk Road, but it's really a, a source book for, for um, complex social interactions in OSR games that don't depend on you know, rolling a skill check. Um, the Gonzo Fantasy Companion, which is 232 pages of incredible stuff that you can use to weird up any game. <laughs> and uh, all of my other products, take a look. The links are in the description below. If you don't have a lot of money, well, check out RPG Funded Presents. You've got, I've got 108 issues and, and counting. Um, and they're between 99 cents and 4.99. So it's like you're buying me a coffee, but you're getting something that you can use in your campaigns. So be sure to check that out too. And I guess that's that's everything for today. Uh, currently smoking nothing this very moment because I'm right in between. I was changing pipes as I decided to do this video. Take care.